I'm, I'm back in the manufacturing of parts business again. So um, today I'm making the, the gunnel caps. So essentially what they do is protect the stitching that I did on the, on the gunnels of the canoe. Um, the other thing I gotta make today once I get these finished uh, are some more square pegs. This time I'm gonna use hardwood. So the ones that are gonna actually fasten this to the top of the gunnels, I'll use ironwood and get them whittled out. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'm going to be uh, driving the ribs in that thing. So yesterday I finished my um, gunnel caps and they're, they're roughed out. They'll have to get some final shaping, but that, that's a ways down the road, but two more parts made. And today's the moment of truth. We're gonna be driving our ribs. And it, it amazes me that the indigenous people had it all figured out. No screws, no nail, no glues. They use compression and tension. And it's all gonna be held that together that way. So this is the hardest gunnel to make. I broke a couple already this morning trying to dry fit them. This one I think is gonna work. Uh, so what I do is I, I taper down the sides uh, and then I put a 45 on them and then I put a 45 on the top right here. And, and basically what that does on the inside of the inner gunnel, there's a 45 degree bevel the entire length of that gunnel. And it corresponds with this 45. So as it's driven in, it's just that compression and tension that's going to hold this together. Anyway. First rib. What I do at this point is I mark the top of the gunnel. Uh, and it's actually going to be, when it's driven in, that rib's going to be an inch lower on both sides. And that's going to expand the bark and push the bark out at the bottom. And that's why we're putting the boiling water on, on everything. So we've got to keep everything soaked. There's a huge amount of stress put on the, on the lacing as the ribs are being driven in and the bark. So if we keep everything really well wetted down, it, it lets that expand. The other thing I'm going to be doing is I'm not going to be driving these into their permanent home. I'm going to leave them fore and aft, so this one will be slightly back on an angle. And then I let the canoe set for four or five days, and then I tap them into their permanent home.
So when the, when the canoe is really t a tight V-shaped at the front, bow and stern, um, I boil them a second time just before I drive them in so I don't break them. Um, once I get to the rounder part of the middle, I want that memory to give me that, that tension uh, on the sheathing on the inside of the canoe. So, yeah, rib number four. <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, that guy, he had a little bit too much of a hinge in it, so I, I think I'm going to drive him back out, get another one, and I'll use this one on the far end. And I've decided, the last two canoes I've built, we, we drove them into their position, and it seems to be working. I can't see um, that need to let it set for those four or five days, so I'm going to try that. <laughs> we'll see We'll see how it works, but I think I think this guy's coming out. I just don't like it. There's no sense. After all this work... To settle for mediocre. With any luck, this is going to work uh, in the bow. I'm pretty sure it will. Or stern, whichever <laughs> way I'm phasing. Halfway there, <laughs> halfway there. If I keep going, she'll be done today. So, um, last one's a little tricky. Uh, I had to make an extra one because I broke them. Anyway, this one should work. But now I'm in a position where I don't, I have to offset them quite a bit like this in order to drive them in. So I've driven them in, now I'm gonna drive them back out. So I gotta drive out two or three here, hopefully just two, partially, and maybe one that way. Anyway, it's a bit of finicky work to get the last guy in. Very well. More hot water.
voila. <laughs> Uh, that's one ribbed canoe. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to let this guy dry out for a few days and uh, then we're pitching it. Then we're going to put the top gun or the caps and the gunnels. And um, yeah, we're off for a maiden voyage. <laughs> it, 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 it's been a bit of a haul. Gotta love the concept of a square peg in a round hole. Anyway, um, so <laughs> uh, canoe's starting to look like a wee bit like a porcupine, uh, but that's okay. It's gonna uh, it's gonna secure the gunnel caps here. Uh, the pegs that I'm driving in, they're all gonna get sawn on after. And once we get this um, gunnel cap, I'm gonna need Kathy to give me a bit of a hand here because I gotta put quite a bend in this guy. So a lot of hot water. And Kathy's extra hands and this guy is going to be on and then the last step will be um, pitching the outside and then we launch it and see if it, if it leaks or not. That's, that's where we're at. More hot water. <laughs> 